Last week we talked about uh, the people had the information. Uh, one sentence on the top of page three. I just want to repeat that again. Page on the top of page, page three. Page three. Yeah. There is a saying: To know what seeds we planted in the early life, the life before this lifetime. Uh -huh. Just look at what we have receiving. Maybe suffering in this lifetime. What we planted in previously, right? We receive today, right? Then, to know what reward we will get in the future life. Just look at what we are doing in this life today. Okay? Just look what we are doing in this lifetime today. Okay? So that's important. We all remember what we have done previously. That's why we have good life this time. What we have receiving right now. So at least we have a food on the table, right? But not everybody in the whole world. A lot of people are suffering. A lot of people may be challenged in their lifetimes. But uh, what we are doing today is going to determine what we will receive in the future life. Hopefully, we can be like all the Buddhas. We can come down like a Buddha and we incarnate like a Buddha again. Because Buddha is different from us. They cultivate, become a Buddha. When they came down again, they can choose where they want to go, which way many they want to reborn. A human being, when we come down, sometimes because our karma, we couldn't decide where to go. We know Africa has a lot of people, have rich people, but a lot of people are suffering. To be Mid-East, at least we are not there, right? So we are lucky enough, but because we have done so many good things in people's lives. Is that clear? Okay. Next one, next paragraph. Okay, uh, this gentleman uh, want to help to read next paragraph. Let's, we are on the top of the page three. Second right. paragraph on the yeah. Life can be difficult, but we can resolve the bitterness and the happiness. It is hard to avoid trials in life. However, after suffering from this happiness, we will have sixty thousand years worth of fun. The karma can only be offset through sincere cultivation and practice and the true merits and genuine kindness and virtues. Thank you. Life for, for most of us seems pretty good, right? Suffer, but not like a lot of people suffer even worse than we do. A lot of, a lot of, I read the newspaper the other day, more than 1.5 billion people today, they are hungry every day. More than 1.5 billion people. Yes, hungry to death in their life. So can you imagine that more than one? So it's more than 10% of the population, yeah, right? They are suffering, right? So a lot of people are suffering. Even they, they don't have food to eat. They don't have even food to eat. Okay, so that's how they suffer. So for us, compared to them, we are pretty lucky group, right? But the key here is. Sometimes we're facing a difficulty, bitter life. How do they transfer? How do they transfer, convert to happiness? It's our mindset. Our mindset is very important. But a lot of bitterness we are receiving today because our bad karma in previous life. It's happened for a reason. Okay. Uh, how many years have we reincarnated so far? How many years? Anybody can say that. How many years? 60, I said, no way. I all day he would tell me that. I said, no. I don't know where I was, where I, I was 60,000 years ago. I have no idea. So we have been doing connect 60,000 years already. Sometimes we could be Buddha in people's life. Sometimes, sometimes we could be something else. Hey, some people could be animal in people's life. We don't know. Okay? So doing connect. This lifetime, we can be human beings. We are very lucky because only human being can become sense, uh, can cultivate to become saints and Buddhas. Okay, that's the beauty of the all the Buddha, all the saints. They cultivate become true from human being. Okay, but when we cultivate one day, okay, we have a like Qigong Buddha. He cultivate become Tianan Buddha. The the middle the middle one statue. He's a material, he's a happy Buddha, you see him smiling, big belly. 
he reincarnated become Jin Gong Buddha in, the, in our small temple. He reincarnated 72 times. 72 times. Okay? All of us, at least reincarnated. We, let's say, talk about 60 years per life. We have it reincarnated at least 1,000 lives already. At least, minimum. So we didn't know that. You know who told us that? All the Buddha came down to tell us all of this. So we, I didn't even know myself. So I have reincarnated so, so long already. But you look this way. Our human, it, it just, just look a twin brother or sister. You see, when two people were born, the same parents, but even twin brother, twin sister, or tw twins, they have different characters, different personality. Did you see that? Right? Even twins, they are different. But they are the same parents, but two are different. Because both twins are reincarnated from individual soul, individual spirits. So they brought back all the personality character from previous life to reincarnate to them this lifetime. That's why you can see everybody different. Everybody different. The personality character when they were born, you can see this. They are all different. Okay? Because we have to cultivate so many lifetimes before this. We broke it. Whatever we cultivate to the degree we cultivate, we're going to bring back to the next lifetime. Hope we want to go back to the absolute heaven to continue to cultivate there. We don't want to come back to even go to the underworld to cultivate. Uh, some people may not know this. Uh, this is the scripture from the city Gava. He's the Buddha in underworld. He's in charge in underworld, in hell. He is in charge. He came down with a Tao temple. One thing is interesting and very amazing. Uh, the Buddha can channel through the girl and came to the temple in, in the whole world to talk to all of us, give us the scripture. This is not human right. Lord, uh, this scripture is from Buddha's story. He is the, the Buddha from underworld, from the hell, came to talk to all of us. That's amazing. Down you can see yourself. This Dharma class, you can see certain Buddha going to come from the heaven to talk to all of us. On May 20th and 21st, we have a two days Dharma class here. Okay? So, welcome to join that, to, to, to witness yourself. Okay? Yeah. So we, through the true cultivation, we can offset our karma. As a human being, we all have a karma. Okay, we all have a karma. How do we offset that? Only merits, the credit. We do good things to help people, help others, help all the sentient being beings, living beings. We can offset those karma. Okay. Next paragraph. Chen Jie Kim. Yeah. 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 Next one, you want to try? Next paragraph. Hey. Uh, in the next the world is filled with souls to the brim. Even the evil, sinful spirit wants to receive the day. However, this is not possible because they have severe sin. Life is full of impermanence, and we need to create an infinite life of wisdom. Real suffering in life does not come from outside circumstances, but from the repetitive life and death reincarnation. Life's true happiness does not lie in the world we own, but in the ability to transcend the life and death. Yeah. Sometimes we think the worst thing is we suffer, we are hungry, fitness, we suffer, we sick, we get sick, right? From Buddha's point of view, they tell us those are not the, the worst thing happened to us. The worst thing happened to us is we keep reincarnation. We keep, we keep reincarnating. We couldn't go back. We couldn't go back. Okay? Because to receive Tao, just to receive Tao, it's not the, receive Tao, receive the blessing, it's not easy. Okay? So, it seems so easy. Since the Buddha told us, at least we have to cultivate three lifetimes before this life, Otherwise, we have no chance to receive that, to hear all these Tao affairs. We have no chance at all. Okay? And then, because we have done so many good things in previous lives, that's why we are here. Okay? And this uh, pre-heaven Tao is a little different from religion. So, we're going to talk about more in Dharma class. So, I wish everybody, a lot of people, haven't attended Dharma class, 
can attend the Dharma class. And then Siddhi Gaba also talk about, Siddhi Gaba is a Buddha, maybe uh, let your time, you can quickly uh, Siddhi Gaba explain to, uh, I know we have a new member today, let's quickly oh. spend a, two, one minute, two minutes. So Siddhi Gaba was the Bodhisattva, well he's, he's a mini Bodhisattva, okay, because I don't know if people understand what Bodhisattva, the difference between Bodhisattva and Buddha. Mm. No, okay, it's okay. Mm. okay. It just, um, uh, it, it's, that's not important. I mean, yeah, okay. Buddhas, by definition, just means that they, they have attained supreme ultimate in time, enlightenment, right? Anuttara Sanya Sambodhi, right? Okay? That means they no longer, they're not forced by karma to reincarnate. So that's why this, they transcend samsara. It's called samsara. samsara. Bodhisattvas, there are 52 levels, but that's, that's okay. That's too much information for most of us. But anyway, the highest level, they've already attained Anuttara Sanya Sambodhi, but they purposefully, willfully, you can say, chose to continue to reincarnate in this world to help sentient beings to achieve Anuttara Sanya Sambodhi. Okay, that's Bodhisattva in general. Okay, so Siddhikarva, Siddhikarva, was, was, I say was, past tense, a bodhisattva. He's an ancient bodhisattva. Actually, the translation of his title literally means earth store, di zang, right? Earth store, literally, warehouse, earth warehouse. So he's, he wasn't known uh, originally as the Buddha or bodhisattva of the underworld, okay? But, but now, but recently, ah, as I recently, maybe a couple hundred years ago, a hundred years ago or so, you know, God, you know, elevated his title to become a Buddha, so he became Di Zhang Gu Fu, right? Ancient Buddha of the Earth Store, or Earth Store of the Buddha. Now, he made a vow, as a Bodhisattva, he made a vow. Now, we're talking about many, many, <laughs> who knows, many, many, uh, either lifetimes or eons in the past. Okay, okay, because, you know, right? All right, so he made a vow. He's known for a vow of saying, on page one, you guys can read it, on page one, the very first sentence. If he does not, he is not considered a Buddha unless, what? Unless what? All souls that are suffering in the own world are rescued or are saved or delivered. Okay, whatever. That's a phenomenal vow, right? Because, you know, <laughs> we say, oh, that's unrealistic because there's always going to be somebody down there, right? Or some soul, okay? So that's what was his vow, okay? So that's why now, I mean now, or, you know, he's better known at, with that title as the Buddha of the Underworld. Get it? Okay, thank you. Get it? Yeah. So just keep, yeah, I know not everybody get a chance to, to know him. But he is yeah, in charge in the hell, okay? I tell you. With a Tao man, with a Tao temple, it's a very pre heaven temple. This is not regular temple. All the same, same Buddha can came down and talk to us directly. So during the Dharma class, you're gonna witness that. And this is a very special Sur channel. But uh, we will not have enough time to talk about it. We're going to talk separate topic on this kind of stuff. I try to finish this uh, topic first. So the he the Buddha said that uh, Siddhi Gaba said the worst thing is the real suffering is now we are hungry or we are suffering in our lifetime. The worst, worst things happen to people, we are suffering, uh, is because we do not, we keep doing Kunei this lifetime, we couldn't go back where we came from originally. That's the heaven we came down originally. Okay? So the real happiness is not we, we own everything. We own the car, house, machine, or anything else. No, all the wheels. The real happiness is we can transcend the life and death. That means we do not have to reincarnate. The, the real happiness, hopefully, we don't have to reincarnate anymore. If one day we decide to reincarnate, we want to be like a Buddha reborn. We can choose where one we want to go. A lot of Buddha, they can choose which family they want to reborn. That's a different, okay? So that's interesting. Next paragraph. Uh, you want help? Next paper. No, that can go ahead. Okay. Yeah. What is the most uh, regional flower of the world? 
Lotus, lotus is pure, although it grow out of the mud. It uh, demonstrated beauty, I hope, virtue, audience can learn from the spirit of the lotus. Now that you have received the Tao, you need to live out a life of beauty. It's fair to establish merit and virtue on top of that you need to learn to become a vegetarian. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, what's the most uh, distinguished flower in the world? That's lotus. Everyone, after we receive that, each one of us has a lotus flower in heaven. Yeah. So if we do keep doing good, good things with a lot of merits, the lotus flower is booming. But some lotus flowers are dying, depend on each of us, what we do every day, every one. The lotus flower has our name on it. Okay, everyone. So there's an uh, angel from the Lady Bodhisattva came down to talk to all of us. Because Lady Bodhisattva brought her to the heaven and then, when, once he went back to heaven, and he liked one big lotus flower, big one. And the lady Bodhisattva told her, it's not yours. Let's become one of the transmitters, one of the masters. Your, your lotus flower in the back. So she went to, the, to see the lotus flower herself. She said she didn't like that one. She didn't want that one. Because that one is dying. So the lady Bodhisattva told her, it's yours. You have no choice. With your name is on it. So we all have to do good things every day. Once we do good things, the Lord throws flowers for me. Okay? He reminds Buddha sends every day there with us. They record it, everything we do good things, we do bad things, they record it down. It's not just we do, even include we think, whatever our thought. We thought of a bad thing, even we haven't done it, they record it down already. So be careful, okay? So Buddha always tell us, one thought is one reincarnation. One thought is one reincarnation. How many thoughts do we? How many thoughts do we have every day? Thousands. 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 <laughs> Maybe it could be more than thousands, right? So you know, so we have to. Buddha do you help us when we have nothing to do. Sit down, practice, get rid of all the affinities. Do not have a single thought. Do not think right, wrong, good, bad. Maintain no thought, no thought. Predicts that one. We will talk about this on separate topic. Yeah, maybe lecturers can tell us about this separate. Uh, we're going to continue now. So every day, we, get, we need to be like lotus flower. In this society, you know, there's so many good things, bad things everywhere, right? But we need to maintain our pure heart, Buddha heart. No matter what people do, that's their each individual has to take their karma and merits by themselves, by each self, by, themselves, by each self. But we have to be responsible for ourselves. One day, when we live, do we have to live this world one day? Do we have to go one day? Yeah. No. Only maybe one sir say yes. Mm. The other two sir don't want to go, I know. We still have a lot of things we haven't done. Okay, we still have a lot of things we haven't done. We still have a lot of money in the bank, right? Uh, huh? No? Or we haven't... Spend all, right? So, although especially those people have a lot of things they, could, they, they couldn't let go, you know what? At that moment, doesn't matter. Even Steve Jobs, does he have to go? Is he here to go? Doesn't matter. He's a he's successful businessman, but he's there to go, right? Doesn't matter, we all have to go. But by that moment, it's not how much we all we have, it's how much marriage do we have, how much karma do we have. Hopefully, at the moment, our merits, it, our merits are more than the big karmas we have. That's more important. At that moment, then, please, my loved one, my children, please give me some. They could not hear us. You know, they could not hear us at the moment, right? If the, the parents can come down, keep us a dream. Uh, Buddha always, sometimes you heard a dream of my parents, my grandparents come to my dream. That's true. But they, when they come, two things they have to do. They have to report to the city government. Second thing is, they need 
have to a lot of merits in order to come down to our dream. They need a lot of merits. They cannot come down, just come down to our life. No, to our dream. They need a lot of merits to come down. So it's not easy for them to come. Okay? So, Siddhikawa, the Buddha who in charge of the hell, the underworld, he also said, try to be a vegetarian too. Try to be a vegetarian, especially cut down every day. Cut down what we eat. Especially meat and seafood, cut down every day. We wish them. Or you can try and say, I'm only doing the morning. Doing the morning to start with. Or I'm doing the fifth, the first and fifth, fifth things of the month. So everybody try different to start with. Okay? Okay, next paragraph. You want to help? Yeah. As I said earlier, being ignorant is pitiable. We were ignorant before receiving Tao, and we ate meat of sentient beings and created a lot of karma. Now we know animals have spirits, food and nature, as we human beings do. So we should not harm them. We should not give in to our desires and appetite and should learn to become a vegetarian. Yeah. So, Siddhi Gaba said that uh, the most, the, the, to ignore means to ignore all those cause and effect, causality. It's repeatable. means the person who must suffer down the road. Okay. Uh, next page, page is going to talk about what happened if we do that. Okay. He said, animals, not just human beings, they have a feeling. Uh, I, I think Qigong Buddha tried one thing. He said, open up, leave up our sh the sleep. Just by ourselves. Just by ourselves. On our head. By ourselves. Everybody try. By ourselves. <laughs> Keep a bite. Keep a bite. Okay? The Holy Teacher said, Teacher said, does it hurt? Does it hurt? Teacher said, when you buy the meat, when you buy the chicken leg, he didn't buy that gently. He didn't do that. He buy very hard. Okay? He says, animal also have a feeling too. Have a feeling too. They have a spirit. They do so many good things. They did so many bad things in previous life. They have to pay this lifetime. They have to pay. To incarnate, to reincarnate, to become animal. That's one thing. Some, people, some spirits still lock into the hell. They wouldn't even, even come out at all. You turn around, look at the whole world today. A lot of people, kill, a lot of people killing people. You, you saw that, right? Did they, right? They didn't, they didn't. People, even some people say, when I kill people, I'm going to see the car. Right? Yeah. Do you think they're going to see the car? See, see the, no. Right? All the Buddhas in the heaven, they are very peaceful place. They respect each other. That's what, down the road, you can see all these lectures and temple members. They came down. The Buddha always took them to, to the heaven and come back to tell us what happened there. Even the hells, too. We can talk about this topic down the road. So they told us what happened there, what happened in the underworld. Okay. Holy teacher always mentioned one thing. He said all the spirits in the underworld, they are suffering. So no, they, know, they knew the cause and effect. So they are scared. All the Buddha in the heaven, because they already see everything. So they have to respect each other. Only human being, human being today, they don't believe heaven, they might not believe hell, so they still do bad things today. They say human being sometimes are very stubborn. Because we don't see it, we don't believe. I'm an engineer, you know, all day they ask me to receive it out. I say, well, why do I need to receive that? I always do good things, I don't do bad things. I'm fine with my life, why do I need it out? Right? I, I, I didn't want to come. After I received about three years plus, I didn't want to come to the temple. I said, those people in the temple, mm, they are too much. So they want to come to my house. I said, tell them they don't come. Otherwise, I'm going to drive my car. I'm going to go out. I don't want to see them. But because I didn't know at that time. I didn't know Tao at that time. But when they told me, when people receive Tao, when the person passed away, the body is going to be flexible. Body is going to be flexible. So I said, let me try. So I, when people die, I'm going to check, make sure their body is flexible on their hand a little bit. Everybody, if you don't believe, try, check it. When animal die, even human being die, after seven hours, ten hours, it's going to be very rigid. Have you anybody see chicken or even a deer on the street? When they die, you can see their leg straight, right? Stiff, right? Very stiff. 
human being the same thing. After seven hours, ten hours, it's going to be very steep. Whoever receives down, do good things? No. Doesn't matter how many days. Body going to be very flexible. And the face going to be very peace. You can see totally different. Totally different. Test yourself. I've been tested so many, 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 many. Don't even count the numbers. Okay? So that's why when so I'm an engineer. Engineer only talk about evidence. Not just take what people tell us. Talk about evidence. So you, you, we all have wisdom. Prove to yourself what happened. After receiving Tao, what happened? I just talked about one story this morning in the, the other class. Uh, these Tao members, his wife has cancer. So they, open, they did a surgery. Open up and find out all the cancer spread everywhere. So they count this doctor put it back. Then what happened? Prepare to die, right? But they, his wife, husband, her husband and her, putting more than 2,000 people received that. They went out to different countries to propagate that. So in the, the other country, more than 10,000 people received that. After 19 years, they are fine. Nothing happened to them. They are well. They are pretty healthy. They are healthy today. We need to make a big vow. When we help the living being, the Buddha will help us. Don't worry about ourselves. When we become a, we are doing Buddha things, when we have something happening to us, Buddha helping us. Okay? So that's a beautiful uh, true story happened to the Tao members. Okay? Yeah. So we try to le learn to eat more vegetable, vegetable fruits, all this stuff, cut down the meat, seafood, because a lot of uh, uh, those meat and seafood for long, for when we get old, especially when we get older, it's not good for us. Because a lot of problems we come in for our health problem come from those areas. Okay? And also have a big karma there. When we eat them, a lot of animals could be our friends, relatives in previous life. We didn't know about them. So the Lady Bodhisattva, the, anybody know Lady Bodhisattva? Please raise your hand. Lady Bodhisattva. Guan Yin. Guan Yin Pusa. Guan Yin. You know what she said? He said, all the male is almost like her father. All the female, all the living being is her mother. Even Buddha said that. All the male is her father. All the female is her mother. Could be in previous life. We don't even know. But she came down to tell us. So she respect all the male like her father. All the female like her mother. And the Buddha, she, even she was Buddhisawa already. She was that level. But she's still doing that. She still does that every day. Okay? Okay, get, let's go to the next paragraph. Wanna help? Yeah. Johnny? Yeah. Can you help? The moment we understand our true heart, we must con conceal our capabilities and knowledge of virtues. Keep a lot of fire. Yeah, speed up. The moment wildfire or tempers extinguishes and remains reminds us only the Buddha within us. When our heart is pure and still, marvelous wisdom will exude. Elude. Elude. When we are awakened, we can we see through things. We, we rise above the bitter sea of life and death. When we are Adverse, when we are in an adverse, adverse situation, situation, we must not become worried or aggravated. But to turn situations around, we must be flexible and dealing with things. When we set our minds on cultivation, we must be meticulous and gentle in yes. our demeanor. When we inspire our Buddha heart, we must hold fast to our goals and faith. Thank you. Yeah. The moment, sometimes we get upset and angry. You know what? We burn our merits. It's like we have a saving in the bank. Right? We have a saving in the bank. But sometimes, merits is like our savings. When we burn our merits, like we lose a saving every day. Okay? It's not easy to do good things and create a, accumulate the merits. But it's easy to get upset and burn our merits. It's easy to get upset. So the Christian talked about this morning. Said she tried to learn every day when she drive on the on the drive on get on the car driving. When somebody cut cut her off, she tried to stay calm. 
Eh? Stay calm. Stay calm. Yeah. Not easy. Okay, not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? Sometimes I think this way. I say, those people must be have emergency stuff. Maybe they have to go to the hospital. Maybe something happened to their family. Maybe something happened to them. To the, so that we have to let them go first. So once we start to think about that way, you know what? We'll be very peaceful. Then the holy teacher always wish, said, when we drive on the street, try try on the on the street, he said, wish all the people around us are very safe and happy to arrive home. Nothing happened to them. Holy teacher said, one day our va wish for our to come back to ourselves. Whenever we have a good mindset message sent out, it will come down, come back to all of us. So that is important. Stay in the good mindset every day. Not easy, right? We're only facing a challenge, right? Yeah. <laughs> but stay. When we cultivate, one day, sometimes we say, oh, I got I'm angry, I got upset. In the future, we say, okay. Holy teacher said, sometimes we upset angry every day. Teacher said, we only angry upset only one day a week. So he give us one day holiday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't get up, upset in one day. Okay. Already, you know, we have the same day. We are all angry and upset. They don't only one day a week. He give us one holiday. Sunday. Um, Sunday. Okay, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> then after that will be one day a month. We we'll get upset only one day a month. Then they don't maybe every three months. Maybe one year later. It's not easy, especially we are facing so many challenges, adverse, all the difficult, right? We have children, we have family, we have to work. Anything could happen. But if we don't cultivate that way, we go back, we have to cultivate even worse. Let me put it this way. I always said, when we study five years in, the, in here, in the heaven we have to study 600 years. Five years here, we have to study 600 years there. One year here, we have to study 120 years there. One month there, we have to study 10 years there. So with one class here, we have to save five, six months there. So why not? One hour we sit here, we can save five, six months there. Because at that moment, we don't have a physical body to study. It's not that easy anymore. We only have spirit, the soul. We couldn't control that easy. Okay? So we have to use our human body to help ourselves to cultivate. That's the difference. The human being said, Buddha always tells us, to become human being, that's the luckiest thing in your whole many, many lives. Become human being is the luckiest thing in our human life. Okay? Yeah. We don't feel that today, right? But Buddha always reminds us all the time. All the time. Okay? Yeah. Here's also, every day we need to have our pure heart, true heart. Some people could take advantage of us, to give us a hard time. But our true heart, our conscience had to be there all the time. Okay? Teacher always said, teacher, per, all the Buddha protect those people. If those people are so smart, they don't need Buddha to protect them. Smart is different from intelligence. Smart is someone, some people who can fight for their own advantage, own benefit. Cleverness. Cleverness. But intelligent people is wisdom. Wisdom means they have other wisdoms. Those are the people we want to become, not the smart people. Smart people could be the, do the tricky shortcut, take personal advantage. We don't want to be like that. So we want to be every day have a true heart. So Buddha always help those people have a pure, true heart people. Okay? Buddha sends teachers out always next to us every day. Be careful. So one time, we, I, when I was new members at that time, we have a master. She always say, okay, uh, every day she's go home so sleepy because they have a lot of meeting there. Then when Damaksa comes, the master heard, and the holy teacher hold down the paper like this, very lightly hit her head. What do I have to say to you every time? Because she always fell asleep after she drive. When she drive, she fell asleep. The holy teacher said, had a lot of many accidents. A many, yeah. So teacher said, what do I have to say to you all the time? <laughs> yeah, we, we, we just got back from the Texas la, two, three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. There was a town member. She had a five car accident in short period of time. Five car accident. Car crashed. She still survived. Okay? So, 
God, Buddha, help us all the time. So, unbelievable. When she heard all that story, it really happened to people. Okay? And when she told me she had five accidents all, all those times, I said, wow, crazy. Right? We'd be scared to death, right? Yeah. So, sometimes. Yeah, Edison had a. Yeah, Edison had Yeah. Take one minute. No one minute. Um, mm. uh, we had an accident that we. It was a very bad accident. We lost uh, pretty much the right side of the car. Uh, there was um, luckily there was a rail on the highway. Yeah. In the section of the highway, they usually um, high up. speed. <laughs> Over the rail there's a hill. So if it wasn't for the rail, we would not be here. We wouldn't be here. Wow. Yeah. So I know my wife. Uh, she's not here. She had also other accident too. Whole car was crushed after snow day. And at that time, she couldn't even walk. Every time, uh, we, I, took, we, I remember we took her to see the doctors. We spent about seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000. Whatever Chinese, American, any doctor we see, doesn't matter which doctor, we, whatever we can go. Her disc on the neck, spine all protruded out. So every day, she came, from, came, from the job, came home from the job. She says she wanted to put her head on the table. Want to put her head on the table. Because she said her neck cannot support the weight of the head. And then she lied down on the bed. I have to push her to the corner of the bed and she can slowly get up. Slowly get up. That's how bad she was in the accident. And then she's in the class today. She's about 90.99.9% recovered. So, but she, since that moment, she comes to the temple every week. Every week, if she's around. She will be here. So, Buddha can help us, but do we want to help ourselves? That's the important thing, depend on ourselves. Even let your genie want to quickly take one minute to talk about yourself quickly. I don't. Yeah. I think most of you have heard of my yeah. story. Yeah, now you're going to. I have leukemia, so I was diagnosed about 16 years ago, coming to this neighborhood, 16 years ago. And then I had a <laughs> which is a rare type of leukemia. Okay. So I'm very lucky I'm still here talking to you because of this medication. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. But not everybody that lucky. Right? Yes. Um, at the same time when I was diagnosed, uh, there was a member, a down member in the temple whose husband had the same illness took the same medication at the same time as me. It didn't work. And he passed on. Yeah. I'm still here. Yeah, but we should also know that uh, Lecture Jane, she does a lot of things uh, behind the scenes. Like every Wednesday, she comes to the temple to clean up everything, yeah. you know, the bathroom. You know, just, this is just part of what she does, you know, behind the scenes. Thank you. I remember her situation. She came here a few times a week, even Wednesday, sometimes Sunday, sometimes she came by herself, nobody is here, even let your ties here. But you know what Holy Chikong Buddha told her? You got to come, come in more, come in more, to help more. So, you know, but Buddha tried to give us a hint. Once we do more, Buddha can use our merit to offset our karma for us. A lot of cancer today, because I, I, once I start to hear it happened to the town member, especially in Taiwan. A lot of people, have, some people have cancer. And Buddha said, do I want to tell you what happened to your cancer? It's not just because of what you eat. That's part of reason. Because a lot of bad karma behind you, you don't even know. Do you know what happened you did in previous life? He, how did you go even tell them what happened, what they did in previous life? Some people even kill the people. Even they are temperamental this that time. But previous life, what they have done before, people will not forgive them. So they want them to pay back. So want them to suffer. The way he, the way, especially one lecture, the way she suffered, the same way how people, how people, when she killed people, those people who got killed, it's the way they suffered, the same thing they, she suffered today. They want, they want them to pay back. So do keep coming. If you can, please keep coming. You're going to find out, you're going to, you're going to have your own story to tell all of us. Okay, a lot of people have their own story. If you want to talk about your story, we can talk about 10 days, 10 nights. 
Can I even finish? I'm going to tell you that. Even quit myself too. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here today. Last year, I even quit my job just do this full time with my wife. We all do full time together in different states. Okay? So why? It must be a reason there. Otherwise, right? After you work so many lives, I've been here for 34 years. You work so hard to get to the position for, for your lifetime. What do you want to give up? Right? It must be a good reason there. Okay? Yeah. So the other thing, we, whatever we do in the daily life, we need a little flexible. Sometimes we are so rigid. People tell us, do this. Sometimes I want to do this. Some people give us advice. Do you want to listen? Is it easy to listen? Especially criticize. Is it easy to accept criticize, criticize from the people? Not easy, right? All of us, we are human beings, you know? Yeah. Good or bad. If we can cultivate it down as that, that would be good. But our, big te our temper, habit, we need to adjust a little bit. Sometimes people give us advice, listen a little bit. It makes sense, we listen. If it don't make sense, we, don't, we let it go. Okay? Don't take it personal. Sometimes it's not easy, but we have to learn from that. Don't take everybody's advice personally. They might be our best friend, otherwise they will not tell us. They will not give us advice. They will not criticize us. Okay? So Buddha said, when they criticize us, it could be our, one of our best friends. Otherwise they will not tell us that. Okay? Next paragraph. One, two, three, because we can. That's all right. It's called a beta. Okay. Yeah. Next paragraph too. Yeah. As a cultivator, we don't want to eat meat or flesh of other sentient beings. Moreover, we should all also advise people not to eat meat of other sentient oh, beings. Okay. Because all sentient beings could have been our parents and we just lives. Uh, we know the law of causality spares no one. Um, how can we bear to see them suffer because they create bad karma due to ignorance? Thank you. Later on, we're going to talk about which occupation has a karma there, okay? But here is, Siddhi Gava told us, we encourage people to eat vegetarian food. It's vegetarian, come here to learn vegetarian food here. How do people cook? Once you learn more and more, you see Jesus. Uh, some people tell me, Jesus, if we can cook like that every day, I would be vegetarian too. Uh, and also healthy, right? Why not? Why not? Okay? And then also, because always cause and effect, causality. We have to pay. What we eat, we have to pay back. So we're going to talk about the more story later on. But what we eat, one day, <coughs> this soul spirit is going to chase after us. Chase after us all the time. Okay? Yeah, we have a town member, uh, three spirits, wait for them 308 years. 308 years to chase them. Okay? You know why? Because after the previous life, the, the, the one thousand member, the lecturers, kill those people, three people. Three best friends, they're doing business together. They make so much money. By the time this guy find out so much money, we wish shares, I don't get, he only get one third. So he killed the other two. Okay? <coughs> then this lifetime, he received that. You know what happened? Those spirits will not let go. So they... They got, those spirits got killed, those people got killed, they were in the hell for 300 years. 300 years. They came out, they looked for him. And then he, did, he was cultivated in the north part of Taiwan, in the temple, for eight years. So he, he didn't have chance. But once he, he went to the south of Taiwan, he said he didn't want to go to the temple anymore. He didn't have to go. Those spirits are so happy because they got an the opportunity. So once he didn't go, because he went to south of Taiwan, the temple, because his job changed. Then he didn't get along with other people, so he said he didn't want to go. He wanted to cultivate it at home. You know what happened? Those spirits he killed got an opportunity. So after that, he got a big accident. So then holy teacher, our statue on the right hand side, holy teacher came to tell him what happened to you, to him, previous life, what he has done. <laughs> So keep coming to the temple if you can. I'm serious. Keep coming. At least a lot of married 
would a sense it can help us to offset to negotiate for us. But if we don't do it, those people who we owe previous life, they are so happy. We don't come here because sense Buddha try to protect us all the time. But we don't have merits, they cannot protect us. They cannot negotiate for us. Okay? Yeah. No. Next one, uh, one to one to six. We can finish the uh, reading. Those <coughs> occupation gonna have a karma set. Okay. Who uh, wanna help us? One. They are vice. Yeah. Occupation. So these are the occupations. Okay. People who raise animals for slaughtering, slaughterhouses. <coughs> Fish and meat, chicken, pork, beef, and lamb, etc. Owners or investors of supermarkets that serve meat and fish. Anyone who works for a restaurant that serves meat and fish, such as owners, investors, chefs, waiters, dishwashers, and busboys. One more. One more. Drivers who transport fish and meat to markets for sale, or drivers who transport animals to be slaughtered. Wow. 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 <laughs> That's City Gawa told us, right? So those kind of, so a lot, no, but let's put it this way. I'm kidding. Okay, we said, make sure, you say you carry the all those to the supermarket. Make sure we have enough merit to offset the karma, right? Otherwise, we have to pay for it. Yes. Okay? People who raise animals for certainty, right? For caring, they have to pay. Okay? Yes. Yeah? The people who s sell all the meat, all the seafood, they have to pay. Okay? The owner, investors of the shima market, sell the fish and meat, all those seafood, they have to pay. All the, anyone who works in the restaurant, they servants, Investor, owner, cooks, whoever even wash the dishes. Right? Ah. Bye, boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, can we purchase? Can we go to the store, though? Purch you can purchase? No, not the, no. But uh, to the store that, well, they have a meat section, but we don't ever go to the meat section. But, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. nothing to do with that. We're not. We're not we don't purchase the meat and fish. <laughs> But we're purchasing the store. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. Fine. And the driver who get City Cowboys explain why they don't. Okay, you can continue to see what he explained why. Okay. The driver who transport the fish, meat, and sugar market for sale, and driver who transport animal to the slaughter. Okay. Okay. So those areas try to avoid that. If you say, I'm doing that today, what do we do? Okay, see God will explain to you. So those areas, try to avoid it. So that's why occupation is very important. Very important. Not occupation. What about shoes? Shoes? Yeah. The bags. Ideally, we're not supposed to wear anything that's made with leather. Leather. Huh? They don't even come back. So that's why in the beginning, we may not know it. In the beginning, we may not know it. There are Places that you can purchase fake leather products. Fake leather. Some are on the internet, some are in stores. Yeah. So once we know that, we try to avoid it. Okay? Okay? And we say, oh, I don't believe karma. City Kaba gonna explain to you what happened. Okay? But we, we can avoid it, let's avoid it. Right? Especially the City Kaba told us. Yeah. He told he's in charge of all underworld in the hell already. He came down to tell us what happened in the life. Okay, people have to pay for it. But he's going to buy those, 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 some are indirect karma. Indirect. Means you are not direct, you are helping. Like you are the driver helping. Okay? Yeah. And they say if you don't help, they will be, they will be broken out of business. You know what I mean? So, so all these people in the restaurant will be having a very, very karma. Bad. We go ahead. That's the next one. Next paragraph. Next, next two paragraphs. Okay? So that's why he's talking about those karma. Okay. What happened? That's why. That's why one spirit in Japan, one Japan a tsunami. Uh, Siddhartha and the Buddhas brought one of the spirits, female spirits, to the temple. 
And then these female members, Dao, Dao member, she passed away during the tsunami in Japan. Remember yeah. Japan yeah, 10 yeah, years ago? Yeah. He said, I didn't do anything wrong. Why, why me? Why me? Why me? Why her? Why? And then city government is going to explain to why. Okay? Because it happened to those people, why whole Japan, whole area so under tsunami, karma. corrected karma. Corrected oh karma. It's just one person, not corrected. It sweeps everybody else. Some people may be good people around the group, unfortunately, mm -hmm. happened to them. But they may not do it. Some people, somebody, somebody else do that, did that. Is it okay? because uh, Japan oh. during World War? Yeah, that's what correct the karma, yeah. Correct the karma. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, correct the karma. You can't pinpoint one cause. <laughs> no, we don't know. We, 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 we don't know how many karma yeah, they have done in different lifetimes. Because in the before their life, yeah. before their life, it I could know. be in some place else. It's not just there, okay? So it's, it's all combination, okay? So those areas, try to avoid it. But if we, I'm doing that today, down the road, if we have opportunity to change a job, select a job which is more, with a, no karma at all. If we can do that. No, driver, no, no driver, you have different type of driver. Yeah, yeah. No. If I go to a different type of yeah. job, why not? No meat involved. Yeah, no meat, no seafood, <laughs> no this, right? No carry meat. Yeah, yeah, so the reason because of killing. Okay. Yeah. So it's not. Jenny, good. No, no, I'm just saying. Right. Five minutes. We only have five minutes. Okay. Let me finish this one. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, next paragraph. Next two. Let's read next two. Next three paragraphs. When it comes to working at restaurant, if the restaurant offers meat dishes, although people who work at such restaurant, for example, the owners, investors, or our shareholders nearly fund the business and do not engage in the killing of animals firsthand, and they may not eat meat them, animal meat themselves, they still have to share a fraction of the bad karma. This type of karma is known as collective karma. Even the, uh, the attendants and the cleaning staff of a non-vegetarian restaurants are responsible for part of the bad karma because without their service, um, the render the service they render, the restaurants will not operate by itself. But this type of karma is an indirect one. One day, when the time is mature, those people will receive some consequences. Continue. Next paragraph. Uh, some non-vegetarian restaurants have good business, so the owners are attracted to open up one branch after another. What they didn't know was the wealth they are gaining or garnering results from them planting the seed of good fortune in previous lives. It is not heaven's intention for them to make a good fortune by engaging in such business, but the karma they created will have to be bored and received by themselves. Actually, if they have planted seed of fortune, they will still reap the rewards and enjoy a life of prosperity, even if they are engaged in other trades. Okay, thank you. So, then then we'll, one, more, one more time. So the, whoever doesn't eat, but because indirect karma, because, because you are part of the karma, corrected karma, together. Unfortunately, that's corrected karma, okay? So you also, Sri Kaba also said, all those fortune, we're gonna, they're going to receive from this business. If they do other business, they're going to be successful too. They're going to make fortune too. Those fortune, not because they do this business. If they do other business, they're still going to get that fortune. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay? So that's why, because they're going to return this fortune to all of us. Because we do so many good things in previous life. But not doing this job, they can do some other job, they're still going to make fortune too. So that's interesting for everybody to remember that. But uh, a lot of things, especially uh, <coughs> co always remember cause and effect. Cause and effect. Causality. Be careful for the cause and effect. Because when time is mature, we have to pay back. Okay? Consequence. Human beings worry about consequence. The Buddha don't worry about consequence. Buddha worry about cost. Mm -hmm. Cost. Cause. 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 So we always think about why me? Right? But it's too late at the moment. Okay, Buddha will not let it happen to them at all. They stop from beginning. They will not take a chance, even though they are Okay, that's the uh, next few paragraphs. Let's read all. Can you read all together, please? But, but people who created bad karma through killing will meet the bad consequences, such as bad health, 
some of the strange diseases that we see together, such as cancer, barbitic, and common. Think of the suffering for, from such diseases. Chemotherapy, being bedridden, and handicapped. However, much money we spend on the treatment will be futile. Futile. Yeah. It is like hell on earth. Think of how heartless we are when we mercilessly put them to death just to satisfy our craving for meat. How can we expect for them to have mercy on us when they have a chance of revenge. Imagine this, if our children and grandchildren are con congenit con congenitally impaired, in mentally and physically, how heart-breaking and nerve-wracking it will be for us. Little do we know it is another form of retribution due to our bad conduct. Even though selling meat will be a humongous wealth, is it really worth it to trade it for um, aggravation of having to look after such descendants? for their entire lifetime. Keep finishing. When people don't experience this karmic consequence, they don't believe in causality, but they don't realize the punishment is even greater after they die. After we pass away, we have no physical form. It is very hard to seek help from family and relatives in human realm. No matter how we beg them to, for help, they couldn't hear us because we are in two different realms. Even if we ask them for help through dreams, we need to have high virtue and many merits. And the opportunity to do through dream is rare. I want to advise human beings to quit meat eating and convert to vegetarianism as soon as possible. If we take no heal of it, heal, 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 heal of it and continue on the path of meat eating, someday the comet dead collectors will come in in a speed of lightning and momentum of an avalanche, avalanche. We would cry our heart out and no one could rescue us. We are only left to regret. Don't say causality never occurs. It strikes our descendants in the long term and us in the long in the short term. I hope you will give it serious contemplation. Thank you. So the city government talk about this time time we could suffer ourselves through the disease, through all kind of situations we have suffered. Those karma happen to us only short term. For long term, it could happen to our children and descendants, grand-grandchildren. Those, we don't see them. We don't see them. So a lot of times happen to us, not just happen to us, could happen to our grand, our generation to come. So that's a scary, we don't even know. So you see a lot of people suffering today, children suffer today, because they, some people have done some things in previous life. So when we do this lifetime, it might happen to our descendants in the future. It is, it is pretty scary. Once we know the cause and effect, causality is really scary for the future. So we try to avoid it. Avoid it. So essentially, we need marriage to offset our karma. In, like you say, you drive for the time being, use marriage to offset the karma. Do not marry to, at least do as much, much marry as possible because we need that marriage to offset the karma in this case. So short-term, long-term effect is, is pretty scary. So we know and more and more and more certain, certain opportunities, especially the restaurants, be careful. The more business, the more 
pe kamas de hai. The more business, the more pe kamas de hai. So don't admire them. You see, you, you feel sorry for them. Because, yeah, because they make tons of money, but they have to pay time of that. May not pay this lifetime, could be paid this lifetime, could be paid in future's life on their descendants. So that's pretty, uh, especially the city Gaba said, don't say casualty never occurred, especially the last pa second paragraph, never occurred. It struck our descendants in the wrong run and us in the short run. Okay? To us. So that's why, right. thank you everybody uh, for patience for me to finish that. Take it home, yeah. read it, and then be careful. Make sure we have uh, a voice. Thank you. You have a question, go ahead. No, not really. Yeah. No, he's worried about, he said that. Okay, go ahead, what you said in the break. He said, he said that because a lot of children were born in defect. Why? Now, a little under, more understanding. First defect. First defect. Any defect. They were born, they happened to them. Why? Because so many karma and really exist. Or maybe they maybe they own so a lot of stuff we don't even see. So they happen for reason. So whatever we do, when it affects our grandchildren, grand 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 grandchildren, our descendants, many many generations to come. So we are we have to be very careful what we are doing here. Okay? Anybody else? One thing since we're talking about this. Now can these people receive down? Huh? No, no, uh, no, it can't. Oh, if you, if, no, 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 you know, holy teachers say a lot of people might have a defect because what they come up before. It's very hard for them. But for some people who have a defect after birth, it's still a little different. So sometimes we might ask them to have some merits. They need some merits. Sometimes we might have people receive thou, transfer some merits to them. And we even take a bow together for them in order for them to receive thou. So then situation, we have, to adjust, we have to see what happened, what kind of condition. But for those people, very hard, very serious people, the, the, the serious defects uh, may not be able to, depends, depends on their situation. So, but whoever want to receive that, we, one family member have a certain bad problem, want to receive that, whole family have to receive that, whole family have to cultivate that, then we will transfer some marriage to them, we will take a bow for them, maybe, their affinity is mature enough for the person to receive that. Okay. If it happened to me in uh, Pennsylvania uh, a few months ago, I was prepared for the 12 people to receive that. The last one, I wanted her to receive that. Everything was ready just to hold the, the, the cover. Uh -huh. Yeah, then she, you know, she said, hi, he said, that one voice pushed me away, they want to wait. Then I asked her, tell her to talk to her three times. I went back there three times, no chance. She, her, she, her creditors will not want her, will not let her receive that. She had no chance at all. That's how interesting. I, I went through myself, so I said, wow, what's going on? So until you went through yourself, you will not know what's going on. Because you see the person, you do not know how bad the, the mental disease she has. We will not know. The moment she wants, she's ready to receive that, she cannot receive that. That's the moment I realized, wow, she cannot receive that. So interesting. There's, there's one incident Sorry. about the mute one. Yeah. Uh, in Malaysia, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, finally one kid yeah. Yeah. He couldn't speak yeah. when he was born. Yeah. So, but he wanted to receive down. Yeah. On one condition, the whole family received down. And after receiving down the transmitting mother, master, who is a female, she cannot speak for three days. But uh, that one thing is here. When master let the person receive down, master, the master had to receive comments too. So it's not just the person had to receive down. So one time, one master, I think, 
uh, since the health of the master is getting worse. Holy teacher, remind the master, you got to be careful. Whoever receives that, you got to pay, <coughs> pay attention who can receive. That's why when people receive that, we have to, they must know the background of the person first. So the master has to make the decision, can the person receive that or not? Because some karma, we may not see it at all. Okay? So we have to report to them. So the lecturers in charge, also masters, they they the background to decide the person can receive that or not. I remember that one person which I, who I brought in to receive that, I know, we know he has a mental problem. So after she received that, the weekend, the following weekend, lecture Kai and I, we were at home, we couldn't move. We both got sick at home that week. Interesting. You don't even know until it happened. I know Tell she, them why, because you're the introducer, he's yeah, the she had a mental problem, mental disease. But at that time, she's from NYU college. And she's very intelligent. But she can hear a lot of voice from her ears. All these voice from the spirits. So we say, okay, we need people, members to bring to the Dharma class. So we say, okay, let's do it. So I want, that's why we, I asked uh, Nature Kai to, to be a sponsor at that time. I was in Joseph. But we found out, both of us, the following weekend, both of us lay down on the bed and couldn't move. We lay down on the bed. So a lot of karma there, we don't see it. You gotta, you gotta, so that's why we have to be careful. Make sure the person we bring, bring in to receive down, good people, if they, they, are not good, they are not ready, we need to make sure they do have enough merits for them. Maybe they ask them to have enough merit for them to offset the karma, then bring them to receive that after that. Okay? Thank you.